Today we just got done changing the oil. Now we're gonna be changing the ATF fluid. This is a full how-to video, so stay tuned. I already got the ATF fluid. In the last video, we changed the oil filter and we changed the actual oil. In the next very regular maintenance, we're gonna be doing the grease fittings. I'll show you guys how to do that. So make sure you subscribe for further videos. And let's get right into this one. The ATF fluid is pretty simple to change, nothing too much to it. I'm gonna show you guys where to fill it at, how to check it, and also what to unscrew to drain it. And this is a full drain and fill. So this is a full how-to video on how to do everything. Stay tuned, let's get right into it. First, we're gonna start, start off by unscrewing the thing and draining it. But secondly, we're gonna go ahead and check it. And also, this is where we're going to fill it at as well, right there where that yellow is. We're gonna pull it out, check it, and then we're also gonna stick a funnel in there, and then we're gonna fill it up as well. Today, we're just using some of this stuff, automatic transmission fluid, Quaker State stuff, ATF. And you wanna make sure you're using Mercon. We also have some of this stuff right here that we got at Walmart. It's good for GM and Ford. Y'all guys saw already in this video that we picked up some of that as well. I'll show actually me picking up some of that at Walmart right now. If it takes 5.81 quarts, six. Uh, I, I know I have a ball. Do five. Three. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start by draining. So let's get under the hood and drain our, drain our ATF fluid. All right guys, so where we are gonna drain it at is right here. This is where we're gonna start. Uh, so as you guys can see, it's pretty simple to see where the automatic transmission comes. And this is where our case is. So uh, it's a little bit smaller socket, so I'm not too sure how small, but okay. So it is actually a half inch socket. I'm gonna go ahead and put that guy on there and unscrew it. Oof. All right, I need to clean that up ASAP. Clean this plug. Oh, fuck. We'll put brake parts cleaner and then we're gonna put it back in there once it's done draining. All right, guys, so we're gonna fill up, fill it up right here where the uh, little checker is. All right, guys, we're using some of this Walmart stuff too, the Durcon Mercon. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put this one in first. It holds 5.81 quarts of oil, guys, so that's exactly how much I'm gonna try to put in. You gotta make sure you have a certain type of funnel too, guys, because that hole to fill, it's pretty small. Not as much spillage on this one just because probably we bought quarts. That's what I'll probably do next time. It's just so much easier to fill. All right, so that's five. Now we got our last little one here, Quaker State. Uh, I'm not gonna put this whole thing in there. I'm gonna put a lot, a lot of it, but not the whole thing. That's about 5.6. It's not gonna be, it's a little bit less. We're, we'll check it and make sure, guys. And, uh, but other than that, it's gonna take that many quarts. And I'm gonna check it now, and then we'll be done changing that too. And it's cleanup time. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna check it now. All right, well, she's a little bit overfilled, but it's probably, because I know you're supposed to check it at an angle, guys. Uh, so if it's a little bit overfilled, it's more on level ground right now. Um, I know you're supposed to check it at like a slight angle. That's what we did last time. At this angle, it's at perfect fill level. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that go. Well, why not? Once I'm done with this ATF fluid, I'm gonna pour it back into the gas tank here. Save me a little bit of gas. This is the final touch on everything. Go all the way in there. And now I take this. All right, now we don't have to dispose of it anywhere, just like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that will be it for this Power Stroke Central video. Thank you guys for watching once again. Um, we did a full ATF change on this truck. I hope you guys did learn something. I hope you guys were able to implement this yourself. Um, if you guys want to, make sure you subscribe down below. I got super dirty this video, so it would super help out with the channel. If you subscribed, help me grow a little bit more. Help me take this channel into another level. Anyways, that'll be it for this one. If you want to buy any of my modifications on my truck, they'll be linked down below. And yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you learned something new. And that'll be it for this one. Peace out, fellas, and enjoy. Or not enjoy, but thanks for watching. If you want to watch other ones too, they'll be up here or down there.